Hello and welcome back to our CMD course and in this video viewers I'm going to tell you some commands that you can use to hide your files and encrypt your file by typing some commands and why I'm telling you these commands because there are other ways to hide your file by using GUI but there are certain other ways and techniques to show those files and if I show you in the start so you could understand what I'm talking about but with these commands, you can easily hide your file and nobody can access your file until you type another command to show all those files. So let's start this video with the GUI introduction, then we will move to the command line. So here on this Windows 10 machine, let me show you how you can hide your file by using the GUI methods and how you can easily access those files after hiding. So this is the GSS folder and if I right click on that file and go to the properties and in the last section against the attributes you will find the read only and hidden. If you make check on the hidden so this file will hide and you no longer access this file and you no longer see this file. But if anybody knows how to see the hidden file so he or she that guy can easily go to the folder options, switch to the view tab and make check on show hidden file and then there you go the file is there to access so this thing are not helping in hiding the file in the way you want to hide so just show the file and remove the check and make the settings defaults switch to the view tab don't hide don't show this hidden files so let's move to the command prompt and just do some wonders of the keys and the command and hide those files totally and it can only be visible once you type the command again. So I'm going to launch the CMD and why I'm typing here on the address bar of, the, of this GSS because when I'm launching the CMD from this GSS folder it gonna open with that GSS prompt so it will locate this prompt on the GSS folder so if I first run the command dir so there are three files we have now the command we're going to use to hide those files is a double t attrib attribute full form is attribute and you can search this attribute here in the Google you will further get know about the file attribute command if you type that and press enter so you will get plenty of information about this command and this keyword and what are the other arguments you could add with this attribute command so let's go back and here what I'm going to do is just type plus H H means for hidden then plus R read only R for read only means file needs to be open and it needs to be check and click only and then I'm going to add plus and s as for the system and if I press enter so you will see if you go back to the GSS all files are totally hide and if you again go to the option and go to the folder option view and make check on show hidden files you won't see those files back because you totally turn off those files for access so that's the thing I want to show in this video so if I'm making those setting defaults so what command really helps you to make those files visible again so what you only have to do is just type minus means just changing the sign you're reverting the signs and then type the same command and press enter and if you go to the JSS you, you start able to see those files as they were so this command really helps you to totally hide your file and you can only the person when you run this command you can easily make visible those files because nobody knows where you install your file where you copy your data so you're the one who knows on which directory you hide something. 
now after that we have another command to encrypt file and if you want to further research about the encryption just go to the Google and type encryption so you will get plenty of details what is the encryption and how it works and the basic definition you got is to convert information into a code so encryption is what it converts your file your text your any information into unsensible form in a, in a form that cannot be readable so for example if you have a file in your machine and you want to transport that file in somebody's USB or some other media and you don't want to just share this file with anybody or there is a chances of recovering back of the data from that USB if you delete the file after copy that file to any machine you see so in that situation you can encrypt your file so it will become a anonymous file the file that is not useful and then you can copy that file from your machine to that pen drive or removable drive and then paste anywhere else so it's gonna help you to totally hide the data within that file so what is the command to do that cipher space forward slash e and press enter now there you can see it tells that all three files are encrypted and if we go to that folder you will see this lock on all these three files that tells that all these three files are totally encrypted and let's say if you want to decrypt all those files so you can add d just after the forward slash and you will start seeing all those files normally so this command really help you to encrypt your file and these files can only run on your machine but if somebody try to copy those files from your machine to another machine or another device so that guy that person unable to run this file because it is encrypted and then we have another command to upgrade this encryption system this encryption firmware that is added and the command is cipher forward slash rekey and then you press enter so it updates your EFS key from files in the folder because once you encrypt your file so there are definite some keys created because keys let's say for example if I open a notepad to explain this concept what is the key in a little I'm not going in the detail for example if I type a equals B right and then I type a a and then I ask you what is the answer so you could reply you will reply instantly that because a equals to B so the answer is BB so a equals to B is the key so if I send some data in the form of a a so the person right behind that communication and able to understand because he doesn't know about how and what is equals to a so this is the key and this is a little concept I want to clear in this command line course this is actually the key so if you want to update your keys of the files that are encrypted let's say if I encrypt my file by running this cipher forward slash e command and definitely there are some keys created to decrypt those files but in any case if I want to upgrade those keys so I run this cipher for side rekey command so it's gonna upgrade all the keys to decrypt those files so if anybody if any sort of guy able to know the keys of your file to decrypt and when you run this rekey command it will change all those keys so the bad guy the intruder unable to decrypt your file again so that's the purpose of those commands now in the last a command which we use to know about the file detail let's say if you have a file and you only able to see the extension of that file and you don't know that this file is related to which application so you could run the command soak and let's say if I have dot text extension file 
so it will tell me dot text equal to text file which means it is a notepad file so this command really helps you to know about the parent application and software that is handling that file and you could run any of the extension against this so command association this awsoc full form is association but here we need to write awsoc so dot tags and dot jpeg whatever you want to know let's say we type jpeg so it will tell us this is the jpeg file so this command really helps you to know about the file detail with the extension if you only have the extension detail and you want to know that which file is it because these are the simple and basic extension most people knows about those extension but in contrast there are other extension that are so difficult to understand to know so you can simply type a soap dot that dot that specific extension and then this command will tell you that it is related to which extension and which file form so these are the all commands we need we want to show you in this video and in the last it is a request to like and subscribe our channel and if you have any difficulty while executing those commands you can mention this in your comments and we will reply and respond those comments so stay with us thanks for watching and don't forget to press the bell icon for our every update of this course